Still ahead, celebrating safely. When we come back, we'll talk to a cardiologist about the best ways to observe Independence Day during this pandemic. You're watching Good Day Austin on Fox 7. Well, during a typical 4th of July weekend, many of us would be going to cookouts, crowding into parks to watch fireworks, and celebrating with friends and family. But, of course, this is far from a normal holiday weekend. We have cardiologist and researcher Dr. Ernst von Schwartz joining us live this morning with some advice for celebrating or trying to celebrate safely. Morning, doctor. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Dave. Thank you very much for having me on. I would imagine uh, when we talk about your advice, first and foremost, the ideas of, of wearing a mask and social distancing as much as possible is certainly the best way to do that. If this could just be a low-key uh, holiday for once, that would really be to the benefit of everyone. I completely agree. I mean, we are a little scared as physicians, and I'm a cardiologist dealing with COVID patients on a daily basis, um, about the results or consequences of this upcoming weekend. Um, looking back at the Memorial Day weekend, which really resulted in spikes of new cases of coronavirus in the hospitals. So, I mean, uh, it's, it's all common sense, but uh, the, the few things we can do is, number one, of course, we should do avoid the mass gatherings. We all want to get together and celebrate, and that's fine. But we have to keep the social distance of six feet, ideally, between us and, and others. And there's a few other things, such as um, we all say that over and over again, even though some politicians might think differently, but do wear your masks. In my opinion, as we do wear our seat belts in the car, and it's a mandatory thing and a common thing for all of us, we should really wear our masks once we go out and um, um, uh, are around other peoples. Um, keep in mind the ones at highest risks are, of course, the elderly, the immunosuppressed, and those with underlying lung and heart diseases. And once uh, we get together with our family members, make sure that those ones have um, their, their space. Um, make sure that those ones are protected. We have to basically make sure that our own safety and the safety of the weakest ones in our families um, have more priority than our social interests. Uh -huh. um, we always get the question, what about hugs? Can I hug my, my friends if I haven't seen them for a long time or family members? And I think, yes, you can, but even for that, we should really wear the face masks and we should look into opposite directions. And if possible, don't breathe in that few seconds. And there's a few other things like, don't share your glasses, your bottles, um, your plates, your utensils with others. Um, use your hand sanitizers. Bring them with you. Bring your own hand sanitizers. And also don't forget to uh, frequently disinfect frequently touched uh, surfaces like your kitchen sink, your tables, uh, your toilets, and so on. So it's simple things which all of you should really adhere to to adopt what we call a new normal because um, in our view there is no such thing as going back to the old normal. Yeah, this is just, a, again, a, a tough a tough thing, this 4th of July holiday. To really be honest with yourself, if you've got the discipline to do what it takes to host a gathering the right way, if you just don't think you can re restrain yourself in some of the traditional ways, then maybe it's better to lay back. If you really think you can follow all these procedures, then I guess you can go ahead. I completely agree. And one thing not to forget, of course, if you are sick, if you have any symptoms, fever or any uh, even respiratory illness symptoms, then please stay home and, and, and celebrate on your own. But but don't risk your life or the life of, of your loved ones. Right. Very good information. Dr. Ernst von Schwartz, cardiologist and researcher, talking about the fourth and COVID-19. Thank you so much, doctor. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Dave, for having me on. Have a beautiful day. You too.